Hey guys, it's Natty. So today I wanted to talk to you guys about maintenance on my plants. So I've got all these ones that need to be cut off the stems um, from propagation and also some that just need to be beheaded just because they have outgrown their pretty shape. Um, this is one right here that I actually grew from uh, babies and then or from, um, yeah, and it just became two plants. But so now I'm gonna separate them out and like this one's just too tall. And I've got all of them lined up over here on the side so I can show you um, what I'm gonna do. So I have my scissors and all I'm gonna do, you guys, is just trim everything down. Just, it's all just looks ugly now. Like all these are ugly and I just want them to be pretty again or just be pretty because this, I just, I mean, look at the stem of this thing. It's, um, it's done, right? It needs to go in the garbage and so does this one. So what I'm gonna do, actually, you know what? On these ones, I have this razor knife thing, cutting blade. I'm gonna just go along the stem here. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's see. Go from this side, if you can see. Maybe. So I'm just taking it in here and I'm just gonna slice it right off at the stem. No, I'm not. You know what? Never mind. I'm going to go up higher because it, otherwise it's just going to be a long stem again. And there's some roots right here. Let's see if you can see the tiny roots on that up higher. So I'm going to cut right there or right below, right below that. And there's that pretty rosette. And these little ones right here, I'm just going to take off. Just like that. And then I'm going to let it callus over um, for a couple days and then I'll put it in some soil. And then I have my cinnamon that I learned um, helps with keeping fungus and diseases off of it while it's callusing and whatnot. I learned that from Maria's garden. She's an amazing woman. Um, this one I have in here just because it's already rooted and it has been for a long time, but I had it in another pot, which I will show you when I get to it, but I was pulling dead leaves off and the whole thing just came out. So I'm gonna repot it. Anyway, so she's right there. So on these, I'm just gonna go through and do the same thing. I'm just gonna chop everything
Okay, hopefully this is a little bit better. So, um, this one, it's starting to grow really pretty on the front, but it's turned, it um, tilted a lot from needing, looking for the sun. So you can see back here. So I'm just gonna go in, actually, I'm just gonna go in and just cut it right here for now. And then we'll see. Um, Oh my gosh. Oh, that's the right plant. Well, I think I'm just gonna leave it like that. So she does have a little bit of a curve to her, but I'll just plant her straight down the ground and she'll be okay. pretty purple and reds and greens in there. Hopefully you can see that. Oh, and my shirt, I wanted to show you guys. Look, my daughters found this for me and they had my husband buy it. They're like, mommy needs this shirt. They're so cute, so sweet of them to think of mom. My family's so cute. This one, I just got super long, but I'm gonna just, I'm not gonna take any more leaves off. It's fine. And all these bottoms, you guys, I could probably propagate them again, but I don't want to. I've got too many propagation things going on and I, I just, I don't have the space. Like I said, I'm trying to clean it up a little bit and not feel so overwhelmed in my house with all my plants. Okay, I gotta get the rubbing alcohol and clean these again.
Okay, so you can see my pickle plant. Look how tall it's grown. Um, it's so tall. I don't know how it's getting enough water because it's super skinny or not, but hopefully it's okay. It's just growing, growing, growing. And this one wasn't even there when I got it. It grew, because I got this plant in January, the end of January. And look, this has grown up. And it was just, the whole plant I think was about right here. So it's grown so much. And it's kind of wild, but I really like it still. Anyway, okay. So this is the one I'm gonna, <clears throat> excuse me, chop here. So this I potted up in January-ish, beginning of February. And uh, it's been doing okay. I actually propagated some of this stuff in here, uh, right here. I chopped it several months ago and it's all rooted. They're tiny, um, they don't get a lot of sun where they're at, so now they're rooted, I probably should move them so they can get more sunlight. So, I don't know, this is, yeah, there we go. So it's gonna look just small. I mean, it went from being this huge, massive plant to just this teeny tiny thing, but it's gonna be cleaned up and look so much better. And then I'll pull this out. And there's a baby on here too. I think I'm gonna chop it off as well. It'll just be a little baby. Little baby. A little bit more. There we go. So that's all for that one. Like I said, I'm going to go back through, pull out their stems, throw those out so they can be refreshed. Now, this one is another one that I've grown from a stem. And if you can see in there, the stem's just all pretty much rotted. It needs to come out. And I still have um, leaf babies in there, so I'll leave those, but take out the stem here too. And just go in and snip her off. Well, let's see, I'm gonna set her down so I don't drop her. And again, another pretty purpley pink one. Look how fat the leaves are. So pretty. And then I've got these guys in there. One, two, three, four. Oh, this leaf has some roots, but it hasn't done anything, so I'm gonna throw that away. And this one actually has two heads on it, if you can see in there. There's one, two heads growing off of that leaf. Um, actually, there's two heads on this one as well. So this one's got two one that's small, and then one's a little bit bigger. These two are very similar in size. Really cute. Okay. Look at this mess, you guys. Holy cow. Look at that guy. Got so tall. He's so ugly right now. Hopefully I can fix him. And then all these, I mean, there's this stem in here that's attached to this one that needs to come out. So I'm gonna cut off the babies, off these, and just toss the rest. And these guys are looking fine, so I'll leave these in here. So I'll just cut. Like I just wanna pull these out so bad, but I know I'll make a mess, so I just need to wait. I'm probably gonna prop propagate some of these because I don't have a lot of this plant. I think I only have I don't know if this is the same as, no, actually it's not. Maybe the same as this one? No, I don't think so, huh? They look different. I think this is different. I think this is the only one I have of this one, so. I'll propagate this one. So I've got a lot of leaves on here I can propagate. I'm 
mean, look at this. What the heck did I do to this plant that it has these teeny tiny little leaves coming out the top, these big ones that were right below it, and then teeny tiny ones underneath. Did it get a lot of sun? Then not. A lot of water? Then not. I don't know what I did, but hopefully I can make it look better. Eventually. I think I'm gonna just, oh, maybe not. Oh, I wanted to take those long ones off, but maybe I won't. I don't want to. This is gonna be looking really weird for a while, so I'll let you know how it goes. <laughs> so I'm gonna leave it like that. Just really weird looking dude. And chop there. So I just leave this much of a stem. And that's all I'm gonna do for that one. It looks pretty bad. And these ones I should probably leave longer because they are tiny, but I don't want to. I'm sick of these stems taking over my life. So I'm just gonna chop them off. Tiny little babies. I'll have to find some more of these pots to put these little babies in. Oh, so cute. Uh, this one, I don't know. It kind of, it's actually grown like it is on that stem. It is not growing tall at all. So I don't know how well I could get it off there without harming it. I may leave this one just because. Okay, so sorry about the long video. Um, here's another one. My last one I'm gonna show you. And the rest of them I'll just do on my own. But So this one, you guys, I planted it February 21st. This was like tight compact, dusty rose. It was beautiful. This one, I don't know the name of it, but it was so pretty and compact. And look how tall she's grown. This pot is so cute, but it's so hard to rotate it so that it can keep going to get light because it just takes up so much space this way. Um, so I have to, and this is the one where this guy fell out right in here it fell right out but look this one's all nice and compact still pretty so i'm gonna chop these one two three and then i'm gonna reset this whole thing just gonna redo redo everything everything needs to be refreshed for spring little baby I kept trying to turn this so it would get a better top for me but I just I I don't know it's not working so we're gonna start from scratch with her pretty much she's gonna have like nothing left on her but that's okay Well, that's all that's going to be left of her. Let's see. And then my Irish bouquet still looks pretty good. So I'm not going to worry about that. And this stuff, oh, I can't remember its name, but I love this stuff. It's so cute. I have it in a couple other pots and I really like it. And now it's Dusty Rose. It's your turn to be chopped. chopper there so then I can take off this one and I am gonna propagate these leaves I might just leave these I think so she looks a little funky but I'm hoping she'll be okay so there's that all right so 
Now I'll pull all this stuff out and redo all these. Um, I hope you enjoyed seeing all my crazy stuff that I needed to take care of. Um, I still have, I think, a few more Yeah, of my little babies that I need to, to cut, take out of their little, you know, like this type of thing. Take them out and redo them, but for now this is a lot to manage, so I'm going to stop. Anyway, you guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you soon.